Buying seeds can be expensive, and buying seedlings even more so. What's more, sometimes the plants and seeds that we get from the shops aren't adapted to our local conditions. Well, we can solve all of these problems with seed saving. Seed saving is the process of allowing some of your fruits and vegetables to over mature and then storing them safely and drying until the next season. Peas are ones of one of the easiest plants to seed save, so they're great for the beginner seed saver. All you need to do is allow some of your pods to over mature. Because we're at a community garden, we like to put these signs on them to make sure that people don't pick them. Once your pods start to dry and you can feel that there's hard peas inside and the shell is nice and thin, then you know they're ready to pick. Once you've picked your pod, it's time to take a look inside. Signs of pest damage are not a good sign, and those peas probably aren't suitable for seed saving. Let's see if we have any more luck with this pod. This is a prime example of good seed saving. You can see the seeds have swollen to their full capacity. Now all we need to do is let them fully dry and store them safely for the next season. Especially if you're picking just after it's rained like I have, it's best to store your seeds in a bowl for a few weeks before you put them in a bag. This will allow the seeds to fully dry out before you store them and prevent mold from going onto the seeds. Once your seeds have dried out for a few weeks, place them in a clearly labelled bag with the variety and the date of your harvest. One of the rules of seed saving is save the best and eat the rest. This means make sure you save only the pods or fruits and vegetables that look the best because those will make the best fruit or vegetables the next year. If you're saving misshapen fruits and vegetables, you are not likely to get a good crop the next year. For example, this pea only has peas in, in the bottom half of it, so it doesn't seem like a good specimen to try to replicate next year, so we won't seed so from this. Here we've labelled a bunch of nice, fat-looking peas that we're ready to seed save once they've dried out. You can see these are all great specimens from a nice, healthy plant. If you're growing a lot of different plants of the same variety, try to save seeds from all of the healthy plants, a few from each plant. This will help preserve as much genetic diversity as possible and make your crop healthier the next year. As well as looking out for healthy plants, you also want to look out for healthy peas in the pod. For example, I'm not going to seed save this tiny misshapen pea because it probably isn't that strong. I'll just seed save these nice, fat, round peas. You can seed save from most of the plants that you grow in your garden. For example, cosmos, beetroot, garlic chives, tomatoes, cucumber, zucchini, pumpkin, eggplant, and many more. Some plants are a lot more complex to seed save than peas, so I recommend that you either consult with Dr. Google, or you can also buy this great book about seed saving, which gives you information about almost every type of plant you can think of. By seed saving, you won't only save yourself money, you'll also keep choosing the strongest plants for your area, which means each year, these plants should be getting stronger and stronger as they're more adapted to your area.